Hello dear Sagittarius, welcome back to your September 2017 How does he or she feel about you video? Um, I have actually made this spread available, available as a private reading for quite a competitive price. Do have a look um, below and also if you want um, any other details or to calculate your moon or ascendant sign then all the details are in the description box below. If you're not already familiar with the concept of this spread, I'll quickly take you through it without me... Um, taking too long. I'm, I have used two identical Raider weight uh, tarot decks here. I've laid out five cards to see how you first of all feel about this person you're inquiring about and the second row is about how does this person feel about you as well. And we also pulled out some romance angels by the Ring of Virtue to see what messages are coming up for you separately to see what you need to work on individually. Um, and basically the point of this is, is that if the top row resonates with your true feelings about this person, that technically that should resonate, um, w w with their feelings as well. And if you're someone who is dealing with a Sagittarius and you're cross watching this, then as you know, the, 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 the bottom row should resonate with you. Then the Sagittarius's feelings would resonate with, um, them also. Dear Sagittarius, the underlying energy for you this month is the three of swords. So I'm not sure what is happening, but if it feels like it is some type of heartbreaking, sorrowful situation you may have been involved in. Maybe someone you feel like someone may have rejected you or you had to reject someone or maybe, uh, you know, the relationship that you put so much time and effort into didn't really work out because it could potentially be of a triadic involvement or some infidelity there on the other partner's behalf. Uh, but, but you're coping quite okay with it anyway. I feel like this is a past energy or something that you are um, dealing with right now and, and, and it will be shifting anyway. Uh, Mine Arcana Three of Swords is a fast moving energy. It won't be there for long, but uh, something you need to go through this month. You know, in integrate it and use it to your own advantage. If someone has done you wrong, that know that that, that was meant to be um, happening for a reason. And, you know, a year down the line, you may look back at this and think you know what, like I shouldn't have even wasted so much time, you know, sulking and, and even considering this to be a bad thing because if someone has done you wrong a year on later, you will realize that that is actually the best thing that they could have done to you because you have someone, spe you'll make way for somebody special to come through. Well, in regards to this person, we have the hang the hangman, Major Arcana, and I do feel like you're feeling like this person is not making decisions as fast as you would like them to they're too stuck in their own head things are just in limbo there's a lot of stagnation and slow progress and you are expecting some type of honest communication from them a new beginning maybe they've been hiding something you feel or not fully revealing about their true feelings well in the month of september it will be coming because in the second row uh, we do have the ace of swords also here that's why i like uh, to lay out the spread because we can assess how the cards mirror each other and you know they have the ace of swords also so the truth is coming out this month or the communication of feelings or, you know, calling it truth, whatever it may be for you. If it doesn't resonate, do check your moon or your rising sign. This is a general reading, don't forget. Um, nevertheless, yes, this person is also thinking they want to hear the truth from you as well and start a, a new beginning after some type of battle. There was some type of period of conflict and battle and maybe that's why you are... Um, reminiscing into this type of energy the three of swords and the four of uh, cups because we do have the tower here actually so something quite unexpectedly has shifted towards you energetically speaking uh, the tower is all about this um you know conflict separations do not have to be a permanent separation temporary separations taking a break but something from where you can move on and build a more stable foundation so you know a lot of people are like well, I don't really see, like to see this uh, major arcana at the top, but it's all about transformation and starting fresh, starting new once again. We do have the chariot. Some of you may be dealing with a cancer in particular, or you may have cancer in your natal chart, whether that be your moon, even sun or ascendant sign, because uh, Sagittarius could be uh, located anywhere in your chart. This would still be applicable for you only in reference to your sun, moon or ascendant. It's about travel, relocating. Some of you may be doing that. But most importantly, successfully moving forward. So you do feel like there is potential for this relationship regardless of what may have happened in the past. 
or maybe someone has hurt you in the past and you know now you're ready to move on with someone new but all you want from this person is to be less in their head and less uh, stagnant and, and and call it truth and, and and communicate very honestly with you from there on you'll be able to successfully move forward this person that you're dealing with may be not even living uh, close by uh, because the chariot, as I say, is about travel or relocating. Uh, maybe that's why things are slow, you feel, because of course you cannot spend as much time as you like with this person. You know, they might be traveling also due to work uh, priorities of the visiting family, whatever it may be, holiday time. We do have the Queen of Pentacles. Some of you may be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in particular. You feel like this person could be the one in terms of you do see a long term, long term um, potential potential for this. It could also be your husband, the the father of your children, the wife, the mother of your children. You know, the Queen of Pentacles is a trophy wife, trophy husband. As I say, Queen King um, energies are unisex. It's just that the Queen will be someone who. Um, exerts those uh, archetypal feelings of the queen of pentacles as i say someone nurturing someone who takes care of the home someone who's close to nature and someone who respects all, all beings in life whether it be uh, you know speaking of about animals or fellow human beings they treat everyone with equal respect and it's a very grounded um disciplined and practical person as well someone very reliable so i do feel like you have a lot of warm feelings towards this person and you, you, if, if it's just a romantic interest or someone you started dating recently, then yes, you can see a lot of uh, potential for, you know, a stable future with this person as well. It could be someone who's good with their money as well, like financially stable or, you know, very good practical with their money and saving. We do have the world. So you do see a new beginning happening with this person. You do see travel once again. Quite a few cards indicating travel here. So see with who this resonates. Uh, whether you may be not living in the same city, same country, same state, wherever it may be. Or you may be just planning uh, to get away or even relocate from your current household. Well, the world is all about um, new new beginnings. Um, one cycle ending, new cycle beginning. Being innocent about th this new beginning. You see this woman is uh, pretty much, well, she is naked kid which means you know you're, you're 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 surrendering to whatever is going to be and you're stepping into the new quite innocently um in terms of you know your in, in expectations are, are pure you're, you're starting afresh you know this new beginning will start as i say a new phase of life but for some reason we do have the eight of swords which means that you are reluctant to let go of old habits you feel you're feeling trapped um, unable to move forward but this is your own um, negative mental processing that is creating blocks here I feel it's all in your head you need to change your mindset in order for this to accelerate and move forward I feel because it's already there the energies you need to work with the energies and with the divine to accelerate the whole process we do have new love a new person has stirred your romantic feelings and that really does speak to me that yes there could have been someone who d did not treat you properly back in the past and that's why maybe you feel like you know this person's taking time out or even it could refer to you with the hangman saying you're being slow you're taking your time with this person before you move forward you want to make sure that they're quite serious with this queen of pentacles but you also want to communicate the true call it truce and you don't want any lying cheating backstabbing type of behavior within this new relationship and he we have very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now so yes it is waiting for you this this world the chariot movement forward movement new cycle new life uh beginning but as I say, some, some something is still blocking you and stopping you from accelerating this whole process. So just uh, work with those energies. Go go within yourself and try to figure out w what is it. If of course, if someone has done you wrong, it does take time to heal. And I'm surprised there's no Temperance uh, card here um, or, or the Star that would indicate healing. But for me, I'm just getting that sense that some of you really need to heal from this past hurt. In order to be able to open up and move forward because you do see this but you do see this person in quite a high light and you do see them as someone who can potentially be there for you long term if this speaks of um 
already established long-term relationships or even holy matrimonies um you know so that you know so there could have been some some type of conflict with your spouse does not have to be infidelity something may have just happened where you know there was a heartbreak and conflict in regards to even other family members or finances you know whichever it may be and things may have felt stagnant but you are moving forward but maybe you know, um, you want to start this new phase in your relationship, but due to the past, um, you know, occurrences, you, you are still feeling uh, stuck or you feel like maybe things will never improve. And with this new love, it could just say the renewal of love and things will accelerate and move forward very soon for you. So how does the other person feel about you? We have the chariot. Do you see how the cards mirror? You have the chariot. This person has the chariot, a like-mindedness within the situation. They also want to, I see travel here, relocation for, for some of you, this will apply very heavily. Um, but also, as I say, moving forward successfully, um, you know, integrating all the past um, hurts and past um, negativity and, and implementing it to pr propel you forward cancer also. So some of you have cancer in your chart or you are dealing with a cancer. Huh. And we do have the temperance right beneath that. I just mentioned that, yes, someone needs to heal. And I do feel like it's you, Sagittarius. I feel like this person feels uh, they are being patient towards you. And they have an emotional balance, but you need to heal. We have Archangel Raphael depicted in this picture. Um, and as I say, um, you know, it does speak of needing to heal. Um, you know, um, transmuting as well. You're trying to manifest this connection or this relationship and this person is also doing the same because you are with this third eye quite intuitively uh, connected also together. And, you know, um, what you have lost in the past, will be you will regain it tenfold with this card. I always see that. So if someone has hurt you in the past, um, you know, it was meant to happen for a reason, so it could act as a catalyst to bring about a soulmate uh, to you or, or, or a lifelong partner, you know, so take it, take it as a positive, I say, a year down the line, apologies, it's Saturday night here, so people are getting excited, but um, yeah, um, what was I saying even, <laughs> um, Yeah, as I say, a year down the line, you may you will think about this. You'll be looking over it and just remember that you will be thinking it wasn't worth my time. And I'm actually glad it's happened. I'm in this place right now. That's why I'm talking from experience. So as I say, this person has the Ace of Swords. So yes, they want an honest communication from you also. They may feel like you're reluctant to let go of how you truly feel. And they want a, a success. This indicates successful new uh, beginning, clear mental processing as well. So things will become clear um, where I feel like you won't be uh, much anymore lurking in this type of um, environment, uh, you know, where you're just feeling bound and stuck due to lack of facts or due to some type of mental entrapment here, I feel. We have the Three of Cups. So yes, that can indicate once again the repeating pattern with the Four of Cups where we have uh, here three cups um, aligned here together and this person's to focus on, on the past tragic involvement rather than seeing this new offer coming in, you know, emotional discontentment. Then we have repeating pattern of these three cups here and then we have uh, three swords here. So for, yes, for some of you, this is very much indicated, but these days, these things happen so often. Every single, every other reading we do is all about triadic involvement. And you do have two threes, meaning calm. So but the connection between you and this person, yes, it is calm. All you need to do now is just heal yourself and, and, and trust in the process as well as the cards are saying very soon. You need to decide now what you want and what you don't want. Let it go and let the, the, new, the new come in. We have the Knight of Pentacles as well. Well, the Three of Cups can be, of course, celebrations, gatherings as well. So uh, with this chariot, yes, you may be going on holiday with this person you're inquiring about and have a uh, joyous, uh, jolly time. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles. So for some of you, yes, it may have been a rather long uh, commitment because the Knight of Pentacles is a slow moving energy, a uh, long road, as you see, a very long dry road. So you may have been together with this person for quite some time, you know, and you have embarked on a, on a rather the emotional journey as well where something has recently happened for some of you 
But nevertheless, this person sees you as someone who's reliable and will be there for them long term. Whereas you also see this person as as the Queen of Pentacles, someone who is there as a long term commitment, not just like one night kind of wonder kind of thing, you know. And the Knight of Pentacles is also a um, Virgo in particular. So you may have Virgo in your chart. Or you may be dealing with a Virgo as well in particular. But as I say, it could be Capricorn or Taurus. Earth signs are quite predominant here. And we have the Four. So this person is ready to start a new beginning. If this is someone from, uh, you know, your, your long term, if you're in a long term commitment, then yes, the new beginning is coming, especially with the world card as well. Taking a leap of faith and starting new beginning, trusting in your intuition that, that, that this will work out as well. We have this yellow background as well, indicating optimism and positivity, um, you know, you, you, you never know whether he's really going to fall off the cliff here or is he going to just uh, embark on another journey because there's another path down there. But in life, that's how life is, you know. It's either we take the risk or we don't. So the fool is all about taking a leap of faith and this person is ready to invest in you again. Or if this is a romantic partner, then, you know, they are re ready to take that leap of faith um, and pursue this because this connection is is is, is there and then, you know we have the hierophant here as well so some of you may be dealing with a taurus or you may have taurus in a um in your natal chart the hierophant here to me can indicate holy matrimony so i do feel like maybe one of you have been committed and someone was uh doing some type of uh, um you know sneaking sneaking around type of behavior it could be that this person that you are uh, involved with is already uh, already commit committed. That's why we do have this three of cups, that triadic involvement here. And that's why you both are ready to communicate the truth or call it truth. Uh, because you may, you may be committed also because the queen of pentacles, as I say, could be the mother of your children, the father of your children, your husband, your wife. But I feel like you are ready to take a leap of faith or this person is towards um, pursuing what you truly want rather than being stuck in an unhappy commitment. But it can also mean that this person may not because they're rather conformed to societal values. The Hierophant is all about the old tradition and, and the old ways and conforming to, as I say, societal beliefs and values. Although we do have the full coming out of this Hierophant card. So, you know, I feel like, yes, this person may be ready to take a leap of faith if that um, resonates with you. And we have the Knight of Swords. So this is a card of Gemini. It could be Libra or Aquarius you may be dealing with here. Or you may have that in your natal chart. As I always say, see what resonates with you and don't make it resonate. Don't be biased towards it. If it doesn't, do check your moon, your rising sign once again. But the Knight of Swords, yes, is someone I feel like it, it, these cards are transitioning themselves. You you need to understand the movement, how the cards move and the characters. We have this Knight, uh, let me just uh, focus that in. We have the Knight, Knight moving into the Hierophant and then we have the Fool. So I feel like if this person is already committed, I feel like they are on a verge to um, attacking this commitment in terms of communicating the truth because the Knight of Swords is someone who comes from a logical point of view. They can be emotionally detached, but they can be rather aggressive or impulsive in their communication. But most importantly, um, this may come unexpectedly to the person they're committed to. That could be your own energy and that's what you're doing. But from there on, we come out with uh, taking a leap of faith or starting a new beginning. So see how that speaks to you. So there will be some type of communication surrounding a commitment. If you're in a um, in a already committed relationship or married to this person you're inquiring about. So there will be some type of communication corresponding back to this ace of swords you both have in your spread. Or you will discuss how you truly feel about each other and, and, and start a new beginning once again. But for some of you, yes, it can be that someone's about to get divorced or separated. Uh, don't forget, on the 21st of August, I believe it was the 22nd, I apologize if I'm wrong, I believe it was 21st of August, we had, you remember, the new moon in um, Leo and the solar eclipse. From that point onwards, the universe has accelerated itself to, um, to make things happen within... Um, 
the six months after the eclipse. So some of you may meet your soulmate, some of you may get spontaneous, spontaneously conceived, some of you, if someone was meant to get divorced or separated within this time frame, things will be happening because there are a lot of changes that will be happening in our life. And as, as, as one of the astrologers on um, YouTube did say, from a crisis, there will come, um, a, a, you know, a blessing as well. So something with this tower energy as, as well, I feel like it may have already happened. Some type of unexpected separation or a breakup or some type of unexpected realization, a swiftly moving energy just shifted into your life and has made you reconsider everything that you worked for before. And th this is there for a reason to make you build a more stable foundation. But that, yes, can speak about someone getting uh, separated or divorced here as well. We do have attraction for this person that you are inquiring about, or if you're cross-watching, this would be your own energy. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully, but also both of you need to practice the law of attraction and try to manifest with that temperance card also. We have let your friends help you, ask for and accept support from others. So maybe this person does feel like they cannot... Um, you know, speak to other people about the situation, especially if there is a an actual um, predisposition of a triadic involvement. Uh, but, you know, the people that we do trust, we need to consult in them. And it's better to speak to someone who can give you an opinion from an outsider's point of view as they, they are more rational towards it and not biased. So it might be valuable. It could be that you're dealing with someone from your friend circle as well. Or through friends, you're communicating and you can achieve a more desirable outcome as well. So, some type of negotiations and, you know. Um, and we have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So this new love of this person that you are interested in right now, yes, they could be your soulmate. Because how, how the energies do um, reflect itself as well. We do have, we both have the chariot, you both have the ace of swords. Um, a, a lot of resonance between both. So both you both mirror each other's feelings and you are on the right track as well. So... 